Y'all see this? Y'all see the drip? Let's record a tutorial today, baby. Let's go. Yo, by the way, guys, this is... Don't scratch me. This is Mocha, guys. This is my cat. It's pretty cool. Pretty chill. And he's terrified right now. So, I'm gonna let him down. Oh. You're not terrified. You're tripping. It's not OnlyFans, bro. Come on. Get your booty out of here. Cutie. All right, let's get to business. Anyways, what is up, guys? Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be doing the blurry text reveal. And this is honestly such a clean and like simple effect. And I know I've been saying that a lot in all my tutorials, but you could really get really dope results using simple methods. And I feel like people sleep on the simple methods just because they think it's like below their pay grade when it's like, bro, keep things clean and like you'll make sick content. So, without wasting any more of your time, let's go ahead and get started inside of Premiere Pro. So, first things first, what you guys want to go ahead and do. Believe it or not, you actually want to go to the text tool and you want to type in your text. So for me, I'm using Young LA footage. So it kind of just makes sense to type in Young LA. And then I'm going to go ahead and control A, select it, and I'm going to change the font to my liking. And of course, do whatever fits you. And by the way, this footage is shot by Young LA, um, more specifically, Joe Latona. Um, so got to give credit where credit's due. So let's go ahead and drag this to where we want it. I kind of want it to something like that. And then I'm going to actually go ahead and just leave it as is. I'm not going to add any drop shadow. Actually, cap. I'm going to grab a shadow and I'm going to make it very, very like brushed out, if that makes sense. And then turn the opacity down as well. So it's a super, super subtle like effect. We're going to make sure it's centered. So center like that and then center, center and we uh, have a centered text. Yo, real quick, before we continue with the tutorial, I want to let you guys know that the Ultimate Solo Creator Bundle is out now. And hands down, this is the best product that I've made. I've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack, so that way I don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks. And through this kit, I was actually able to optimize my workflow, so now I don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content. Like, now editing is just a simple drag and drop process, and like, I genuinely mean that. I use these presets each and every single day, and they're actually pretty gas. So if you want to be able to edit like me, and plenty of of other dope creators online go ahead check it out down below in the description and let's get right back to the video the whole thing of this tutorial is we want it to be blurry and we want it to be revealed so we have to go to the effects tab we got to type in gaussian blur and you just drag and drop it and then we're going to go ahead and go to the gaussian blur we're going to keyframe the blurriness we're going to leave this right here and then we're going to go to the beginning and we're going to turn it like up to something like so now it's crucial you don't do too much of a blur because like if you do something like that it kind of just looks like gross so you kind of want to like just super subtle like that and then you kind of just want it to reveal over time just like that and that's like literally perfect and that's the entire effect what i like to do because i'm a man of efficiency and you should be as well especially as an editor go ahead and make this a preset and the way you make it a preset is just say preset um take over and then dash and then blur reveal text and then literally hit okay and you're done and if you want this preset yourself, and I know we just made it, along with many other presets, then go ahead and copy the takeover pack. It is down below in the description. You honestly will not regret it. It has so many cool, unique effects for your short form or even long form workflow. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a short one, but I like to keep things super simple when it comes to editing because I find that just looks the most clean and the most professional. If you guys like this tutorial, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. I really want to hear what tutorials you guys want to see here on this channel. Remember, take actions, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.